Yep, you see the title in the thumbnail, and you already know it's going to be a great day when you see them wings on the menu. I'm going to show you guys how to make them Nando's Peri Peri Chicken Wings. Man, if you ain't never had these, you missing out, but I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Get in your kitchen. Let's go. All right, guys, let's do a quick rundown of today's ingredients. I can already see somebody typing, oh, there's too many ingredients. Shut up and go buy these ingredients. We're going to make some Peri Peri Chicken, all right? So back here, we have our chicken. We have our red peppers here, some fresh cilantro here, some distilled white vinegar here. Now, if you have red wine vinegar, that's fine. We have some red onions. Here we have fresh parsley, some fresh rosemary, chopped garlic, some fresh thyme, a chicken bouillon, smoked paprika, olive oil, lemon juice, Thai chili, a red pepper here. We have dried oregano. I couldn't find any fresh oregano, but fresh oregano works. Now, guys, if you want to use dried, that's fine too. Dried rosemary, dried cilantro, you can. I like to cook it fresh. And lastly, right here, we have some brown sugar. So this is what you need. Let's get to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna roast our peppers. So I'm gonna take our red peppers. I'm gonna lay them skin side down right here. And I'm gonna take our red chili peppers here. So I'm gonna put this in my toaster oven on the broil setting, and we're gonna broil them until they're blackened all over. Now guys, make sure you keep an eye on it. All right, so now we're done roasting our peppers. This is what you want it to look like right here. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sit these aside real quick, and we're gonna move over to our cooktop and continue. All right, so we're gonna heat two tablespoons of olive oil. As that oil heats up, you wanna add your onions, your garlic, and your smoked paprika. And we're gonna get this sauteed for about five to seven minutes. All right, so it looks like we're good after about five and a half minutes. So we're gonna turn our heat off. I'm gonna add this to a dish and we're gonna come right back. So now you wanna bring out your blender. You're gonna take all the remaining of the ingredients and we're gonna add them here to that blender. We're gonna start off here with our cilantro parsley, rosemary, our thyme, oregano, add our lemon juice, our bouillon, chicken bouillon, brown sugar. We're gonna add our Thai chilies, our red chili peppers here, our red bell peppers, our onion mixture, and our vinegar. We're gonna add our olive oil. We're gonna cover this up, and we're gonna get this baby blended. All right, let's remove our top. Now, I like to taste mine to make sure it's seasoned well. Mine can use a bit more saltiness to it, so I'm gonna add another little half a bouillon cube here, and let's see if that works. All right, now let's taste it out. Now that's more like it. All right, so now let's move over to back to our cutting board, and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next. All right, so now we're gonna take half of our mixture and we're gonna pour it over our chicken. Just like that. Now we're gonna get this baby mixed in like this. Make sure the chicken, all the chicken is coated in this marinade. I mean, if you gotta go in with your hands, go in with your hands, doesn't matter. So now we're gonna sit this in our refrigerator. We're gonna let it marinate for the minimum of two hours up to 24 hours. I'm not gonna marinate it for 24 hours today. Ain't nobody got time for that, but I normally let it stay here for at least four hours, okay? So I'm gonna get this covered up into the refrigerator and we'll come back. All right, so we're about four hours in. Take a look at what we have. Take a look at our chicken. That baby's been sitting in there marinating. Now again, guys, you can definitely marinate this for 24 hours. The longer, the better. So this next step, what I'm gonna do is very optional, it's totally up to you, but I'm gonna head over to our stove and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next. All right, so in this step, I want to get those grill marks that look really, really good on that peri-peri chicken. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to heat up my cast iron skillet, got those grill marks right there. I just like the way it looks. Now, you don't have to do that. You can go straight to the oven or your grill. Well, if you go, if you got a grill, you don't need those grill marks. You're gonna automatically get those. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add our chicken. And I'm just gonna just add it just briefly just to get those grill marks. Look at that, guys. 
That's that grill mark I want on there, just, just like that. And I'm gonna continue to do this until all our chicken is like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and continue with the recipe. All right, guys, so this is my last piece right here. See those grill marks? I gotta have that on my chicken, on this peri-peri chicken. Like I say, this is optional. You don't have to do it. I know y'all saying he doing too much. Shut up, I am. I know I am, but I like it this way. So let's move back over to our cutting board so we can continue. So now you wanna make sure you line your baking sheet with some aluminum foil. We're gonna spray this with a little cooking spray and we're gonna start laying our chicken here in the pan. Leave some room between them. You don't want them really touching while they're cooking. I mean, if you have a couple of them touching, it's not gonna be a sin, but you wanna leave as much space in between them as you can. Kinda like that. So we're gonna get this in the oven. We're gonna cook them uncovered on 400 degrees for 35 to 45 minutes until their internal temperature reaches 170 degrees. So let's get them in the oven. And guys, take a look at what we have after about 45 minutes in the oven. Now, what we're gonna do next, we're gonna take some of the remaining of that peri-peri sauce. We're just gonna brush these babies with that peri-peri sauce. All right, so now we're gonna get these babies plated up so we can jump into quality control. And there you have it, guys. Nando's Peri Peri Chicken. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and jump into quality control so we can do a taste test. Y'all already know what time it is and you know what we about to do. Bring these Peri Peri wings to the front of the congregation. Man, look at that. Man, this is art right here, baby. This is art. Look at that, man. Let's go ahead. We ain't gonna waste no time. Oh man. Listen, if you ain't never had pear pear wings, man, you are missing out. Man, the sauce is absolutely delicious. Mmm. God, listen. I got some of that pear pear sauce over there. I'm gonna dip these wings in there. And I'm gonna put my elbows on the table. We're going to get this party started. So I got to get out of here. So to the end, y'all already know who I am. All wings, everything. And remember, him not a chef. He just cook a lot. And now I'm out. Peace. <laughs>